Alright YouTube, it's just a quick video. Uh, I just want to thank everyone recently for all the comments. Just, I really appreciate it and uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos so I, I don't mind making more. But I had a comment the other night. Someone said, oh you should try a Hopton on Sea. There's a couple of arcades there. This one, the Stardust. I'm now on Google Maps. And it's a guy called Jack. And I, I said, yeah, I'll try that out. Uh, he says he can name every machine in the arcade, so he's obviously been there quite a lot, and he said the staff are friendly. Uh, that was a few nights ago, and today I reread the comment. Um, and he said the Stardust and Bubbles Amusements, and I thought, hang on, Bubbles Amusements, that rings a bell. So I went on the Google Maps, like I am now, and I looked around, and there's Bubbles Amusements, and... I cannot believe this, I'm not even joking, about when I was about 12, I I always wanted a fruit machine in my room, when I was about 12, maybe 13, I'm going to say 12 though, my dad said I can finally have a fruit machine, and we bidded on one on eBay, you know, back when it was sort of more of a, eBay was more of a car boot sale back then, not like it is today. And the, yeah, the first machine I ever owned was a Red Hot Notes QPS, and it came from this amusement, Bubbles Amusements. Oh, that's that's crazy, and uh, I never knew it was in Hopton on Sea. I knew it was sort of close to Yarmouth way, but that's that's. Oh, so I'll be like reliving a little bit of my past when I go here next. I'm thinking about going there today, or at least at the weekend. Uh, looks like there's parking and that, so it should be easy to find. But yeah, I just. QPS Red Hot Notes, that was a good game, that was the only problem, it broke. I ended up buying another one, oh, maybe three or four years later, and that one died after two weeks. The build quality of them was not good inside, all the wiring was just all over the place, and I doubt you'll ever see one working now. It's such a rare game, but a good game, fun when you got on the top board, the notes go red, and you know, when you get the upgraded wins, that's a good game, but yeah. Bubbles Amusements, that's where the first fruit machine I ever owned came from. And, uh, I must, I have got a photo of it somewhere, hang on, I'll bring it up. It's a, it's a tiny photo, and you can see my old monitor next to it, but yeah. I'll be visiting this place soon, so maybe I'll grab a video or two, so. Yeah, thanks Jack for pointing that out, that's, uh, brought back a nice memory. Yeah, while I'm here, in case anyone's interested, I just thought I'd show a few of the machines I've had in the past. Uh, well this bandit I've actually still got when I got my first job I bought this out of my second or third wage packet what I'd saved up or maybe a month or two I, can't, I wasn't earning much I was on like £3.50 an hour <laughs> uh, yeah I still got this uh, I haven't used it in a while though so I don't know if it's running well still it occasionally gets jammed the mech gets jammed but it's an easy fix but when you use it regularly that never happens so that old bandit. There's a big seven I used to own. Absolutely great game, but I got scammed in a way. The seller, this was years ago, but the seller had two of these for sale. And I ordered a, I ordered a different one with a different cabinet. And they sent this one. And the reason I think they sent this one to me was because I was so far away from them. The guy that bought the other one, they sent the one I was supposed to get to him. And the reason why I think this was in terrible condition it was basically fallen to bits, there was rust everywhere, there was wood chipping, cigarette butts inside, you could tell animals had been messing about, it had been left outside, but it did work, but yeah, terrible condition, but I only paid 50 quid for it. And on the left you can see Vamp It Up, which I used to have, and on the right, of course, the Hyperlinks. Yeah, there's the big seven inside, I don't know if you can see it, but just an absolute state that was just... And this is after I really cleaned it up, the power supply was all rusty. Just, just terrible, dangerous really, but I traded it in for a mint condition Spike the Biker, which you'll see soon. There's Big Bucks. Great game. Missed that one. Really good game, that one. Uh, more, more Big Bucks. Camelot. <laughs> Probably one of the best machines I ever had. All, all these pictures are low resolution, obviously, because I'd done them years ago. But yeah, that, that was in... Uh, that was photo mode, that picture, you could put it in a photo mode and all the lights would come up. Yeah, great machine, great sounds. Would love to get one again. If anyone's got one, post some, post a video of it. 
you know, there's Camelot again, really low resolution photo. Uh, just an old band that I had. Carousel. Real Bingo. That was one I miss now. Good little club machine from the 80s. I, I like that. That worked perfectly, that did. You get the old tube pouts, don't you? The, the clunking and that. Yeah, that's the, the bottom one. Really good condition for its age. They went to a good home, luckily. The guy who bought it bought a machine off me in the past, and he remembered the house and that. And he, I mentioned there was a mark on the cabinet on the bottom. There's a, like a sort of chunk of wood taken out. I mentioned that on the list, and he said, "Oh, I worry. You worry too much. That's nothing for a machine of this age." So, oh yeah, more of the big seven. You can see the tape just falling down there. Terrible. Jackpots that rock and roll. I sold that to a work colleague, and. Uh, Something went wrong on the board, but he managed to fix it again. So that was a good machine, good sounds on that. Ah, oh, Geronimo. Yeah, when I le when I lost my job in 2013, I sold this just before to raise some funds. Perfect condition, perfect work and order. Yeah, that's that'll go up in value in the future. It ran on 20 p's that one. Quite a generous game as well. Loads of little wins at the bottom, as you can see. There you go, there's the old hyperlinks, not original decals for the 25. Uh, there was a guy years ago on Fruit MU, he... Oh no, no yeah, there, there was a guy on Fruit MU, oh, what was his name? Addy. I think it was Addy. He's, he's, he's still on there, he's a long... You know, he's one of the most active members, as, you, as some of you may know, and he uh, sent me some original decals for the £5 jackpot. As he had a bunch of them way, you know, years ago. And I recognised one of them. I said, "Can you send him?" And I offered him offered him some money, but he done it all for free. So a great guy. So I did have the five pound originals for that, which looks so much better than reproduction. You know, it's more hyperlinks. Oh, I will get that game again one day. That's probably my best picture of the machines. I used to have Camelot on the left, hyperlinks in the middle, and uh, Inca Dinka Do on the right was, which was the second machine I ever bought ever. I bought that blind, I didn't, didn't have a clue what it was, the seller was local, he delivered it and oh what a game. It, it, I usually had it on the £25 decals but such a great game, sounds, looks, really entertaining. I really missed that one. Uh, Mr P's had one up for sale recently. I did get in contact with him but I haven't got the space and he said the decals weren't original and I think he only had the £5 decals. So uh, yeah. I, Sort of left that one there it is with the 25 pound decals on it yeah great game I wish someone would upload footage you know it's just all these games I miss oh the nudge double up mark mark four yeah mark four regret selling that one I we bought it for about 50 pounds 50 or 60 pounds it was like new outside was perfect inside was perfect reels were white all the plastics were uncracked and white I don't think it had a very hard life at all. Yeah, but I ended up selling it for about £80, which was over 10 years ago now. I'm sure it's worth a lot more now. Pays and pays. <laughs> very, very strange game. A genuine repeat chance jackpot, and on certain wins from this, there's a Plinko thing at the top, which is mechanical, so you'd get the ball dropped down, and there'd be green or red lights at the bottom for win-lose. And uh, yeah, one of my mates got the £15 jackpot once and then repeated it four times, I think. Yeah, for 75 quid. <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy. That's a very strange game. And the, the, the uh, light on the top, it's like a Vegas style, that would all flash and there'd be a little sort of bell ring, you know, if, if the uh, ball landed in the winning pocket. Obviously, it had a tilt feature on it, a tilt alarm in case anyone tilted the machine left or right. Uh, yeah, Red Hot Notes, which I was telling you about. First machine I ever bought from Bubbles Amusements. And there's the old monitor on the right. Oh god, that was, those were the days, weren't they? The CRT monitors. I think there's a picture of a fruit machine on the monitor. Yeah, it looks like a, possibly a Psycho Cash Beast on there. I was, I, was, I was always into the fruit machines emulation, that. Spike of the Biker. That's what I traded the Big 7 for and some cash mint condition for the age but a bit of a sour memory of that one when I sold it the guy offered me some money on eBay 
and uh, he ended up, he turned up, and because I was quite young, I got a little bit intimidated, he turned up, quite a big guy, with his trailer and that, and he turned up with his three kids, and they were sort of all playing on it, near my front door, and yeah, he, he had the cheek to mention that there was a mark, you'll never see it, there's, there was like a mark on the top of the cabinet, a tiny mark, and he goes, a mark there, we're going to have to knock some money off, and I was just like, Oh, you know, I'd have just said, right, well, you, you obviously don't want it then, mate, you know, see you later. But, yeah, uh, he, he got a mint condition machine there for, you know, a really good price. I can't remember what I sold it for, but I think I just wanted to swap this for something else. But looking back, what an idiot, what a game, you know, it's so hard to pick up now. And that was just like new. Usually the cabinets are all wrecked and the pink paint at the bottom was perfect. And, oh, dear, you know, it's easy to look back and... Yeah, vamp it up, and big bucks. I vamp it up. I, I bought that twice. Missed it first time I sold it, and uh, yeah, wouldn't mind it again. But there's one close to me I can play if I want. And yeah, we're back to the beginning. So there might have been a couple more I've had in the past, but these are just the photos I quickly found. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you. And uh, if I ever get the space in the future, then hopefully I can get one or two back or buy. A couple of modern ones. We'll see what happens, you know. But yeah, uh, more videos on the way. Maybe some uh, footage from uh, Bubbles Amusements. That just uh, brought back a nice bit of nostalgia for me. I'll never forget that journey, picking up that machine. That was a... Uh, yeah, well, how time flies. Alright, well, thanks for watching this. and. Uh, if you want to share any machines you've got or any memories, you know, feel free and I'll read them and that, so, yeah, the uh, weekend's coming up, so you all have a good one, guys, and uh, more footage on the way. Cheers.